Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I head up the South Shore and I will be trying to fish for some stripers. So I got this hoagie lure I want to try out that is sort of like the Tsunami Sand Deal. It's called the Hoagie Pro Tail Eel. I got a good color that is just like a sand eel. So check this out right here. Thing is pretty sweet, all right? So in comparison to the Tsunami Sand Eel, it is almost the same exact profile size, but this does weigh 10 more grams, so it should be better to cast. It doesn't have a paddle tail, so that's the main difference. But the plastic's a lot better quality and the hook's about it's the barbarian jig head. So I'm gonna give this a shot. There's also probably mullet running. So I did bring this two ounce, 5.5 inch hoagie pro tail paddle. And this will be good to get out there. It's pretty windy, there's a south shore. When I got out of the car, I immediately smelt like fish. So hopefully that means there's some bait fish or something around. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these lures away and put this one on first and then get out there and see if we can catch any fish. So stay tuned. All right guys, I'm choosing this spot because there was a whole bunch of birds hanging out here. And we're gonna try over here and see what happens. Still early. It's October 5th today, so it's still early. Um, but it's good, good for me to get some pr more practice in on this van stall bailless. So I know now you gotta. It's best to keep that spool up high by putting the crank down, and then casting. I can put my hands anywhere, and then in when I retrieve it, I'll have to uh, bring it down and pull the line back. So. That's the game plan. Jellyfish, all right. So I caught a jellyfish. So, you know, start the day out. Nice little jellyfish to start start the fishing off.
<laughs> Bugatti! Need to catch now. I need to catch me a Messi. Oh yeah, fish on! Oh, this feels good. Holy Oh boy, I gotta tighten my van stall up. Oh my god, this is nice. I don't want to lose him on the hoagie pro tail. Nice. It's probably not as big as I think just because I haven't caught a, a nice fish in a while. But he definitely feels pretty good. Right, checking out. Oh, it's a pretty good size one. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Guys, check this. Ooh, ooh, it's flopping all around. Flopper. All right, nice. I don't know. Whatever length he is, pretty good. Anyway, gonna go for the release. Sweet to get a nice South Shore bass. So in the rock he goes. Ugh. Sean. Feels like a good one. Ooh, this water's coming up on me. Damn, I got water on the lens. Oh, he popped off. Felt him hit twice. Oh, he dropped it the first time and then he came back for it. Sweet. All right. I don't want to drop this guy like I did the other guy. Another nice guy. Pretty nice size one. They're all up to my real seat. So that's a good size one. Let's see which way this hook is facing. Right. Another chunker. Another chunker, guys. Check him out. Some South Shore bags. Nice. Let's get him back in the water. Where's the relief? Oh boy. Coming through. There you go, boy. Ooh. Lining it in like thinking I was gonna cast the gun. And then one guy hit. So, let's see how this guy is. He's another, another slot size. Oh. Oh, he's going back in the water. No, 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 come back up. All right. All right, guys. Caught a nice size one. It's the biggest one of all. Oh. All debt all night. My GoPro ran out of batteries. But, uh, alright. This guy's a nice size one. 30 something inches or so. So, let me 
to get this hook out of it now. All right, so I switched up the color once dark time came. Night time. Breaded him up pretty good. All right, so I want to see him against my rod. I'll put it down here so you can see how it goes pretty much past that. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this big chunky guy back in. He's like the whole length of my leg. It's crazy. There's a whole bunch of these guys out tonight. It's awesome. So let's get this guy back in the water. And off he goes. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's, oh, boy. He's off. I gotta go get my rod up here. Woo. Sweet. All right, guys. Another quality fish. Not as big as the other one just before I caught. But again, hit the darker, sandy colored, olive colored uh, hoagie pro tail. So, got the hook out. Let's go for the release. I'm gonna go. Ah, 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 ah. It tears up my hand. Oh. Oh, oh no. Gotta get him. Gotta get him. What is he doing? Alright. Get you back in the water. Alright, guys. Another pretty, another slot sized bass. I would say this guy's like 28, 29, 30 inches or so. Not as big as that other one I caught. But here we go. Back in the water. Alright, guys. And another. I think this is my eighth fish tonight. This one's kind of small, actually, compared to all the other ones. Or I'm just getting used to these sizes or something. Let's get this guy back in the water. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. Alrighty. Finally got this guy. Oops. Yeah, just laid eggs or something or all right here we go back in the water back in the water oh. all right guys and another nice size going on this hoagie pro tail eel he's flopping all over but this again these are the aren't as big as that one i caught but oh, still good these are probably 28, this one, 28 inches or so. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go release this guy. Again, I'm using the pro tail eel, the olive color. Hey, bye bye fish. Nice back, it's a lot. It started to slow down, but trick was I switched to this darker um, lure later when the sun went down instead of the glow pattern and I was able to pull in that nice fish um, but hey it was a good start to the South Shore trip and if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this in the future go ahead and subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching